Okay, so up until now, we've been focusing on the back end of our shopping cart system. So now let's shift the focus a little bit more on the front end. We'll still be dealing with the back end, but um, our emphasis will be more on the front end. So in today's video, we're going to add a um, listing of reviews functionality to our shopping cart system. Okay. So first of all, let's create a review model. So I'll just go in our app.js file here and I'll say app.review go to ds dot model dot um, extend okay so uh review has two properties first one is text and the second one is rating okay so next what we need to do is just set the adapter for the review um, to be a fixture adapter so we'll just duplicate this product adapter and just say review adapter so it doesn't go to the server and next what we need to do is actually add review fixtures so we'll go just right to the bottom of the page and say app dot review dot fixtures And that would be an array of um, fixture objects. So the first one will have an ID of one and we'll give it a text of, um, let's say, I like this Xbox console. And let's give it a rating of, the ratings will go from one to five. So we'll just give it a rating of um, let's say four. Okay, let's add one more, a couple more, sorry. And um, this one will, second one will just be rating the PlayStation 3. Say I like the PS3 console. Also have a rating of four. And this guy comes down here and says PS3 is the best. That would be a rating of five because this guy is so enthusiastic. Okay. So now let's link the product to reviews by giving a uh, belongs to, um, sorry, has many uh, property to the product. So we'll say reviews and we'll say um, ds dot has many. And what will that be? That will be many reviews. So we'll just pass in the lowercase down review. And also inside the review, we'll just say um, product. So we can know which product the review belongs to. DS dot um, belongs to. And um, inside that, we'll pass in a string, which is just a lowercase product. Okay. Okay, so back in our fixtures here, let's just associate these fixtures to these ones here. So, the, um, the first product will have um, a reviews property and if you remember from uh, my previous fixtures videos you just pass in an array of IDs that it has many of. So in this case PlayStation 3 has the fixtures um, um, owns the second and third um, ID reviews and Xbox One um, only owns the first one. So that would be one here. And then we'll go back to the fixtures and we'll say it belongs, I'm um, sorry, product. And since it's just one, we'll just give it a single ID. So this one just belongs to the product with an ID of two. This one here, since it's talking about PS3, it will have ID of one. And for the final one, it will have um, product with an ID of one as well. Okay. So now let's go in our index.html and just create a template there for the um, reviews. So here we are and um, let's see where we are listing the uh, single product and just underneath it, just loop over each reviews and just list them there. Okay, so here is the um, template for a single product. We just created another div there 
and inside there we'll just loop over um, each review in reviews Since the context here is just a single product, um, we don't need to do anything special. We can just say review it here and it will know that it has to review the current model. So we'll just close this each helper here. And what do we want to show for a review? We'll just show the text for it. Um, we'll just say review.text. Um, so let's just say text. And Next, we'll just put a rating. Okay. So now that it's done, I'll just put up a quick server and we'll have a look. Okay, so here we are in our browser. I'll just put up localhost 4000. If everything goes well, we should be able to see the reviews for each product. So here we are in PlayStation 3. Um, I'll just click on here, PS3. And it seems like we have an error. So let's just see what that is. Console cannot read property resolve of undefined. I'll just pause the video here and do quick debugging. So I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, so um, I did have a look around at the code and as usual, we forgot to put the async feature there. So back in our app.js, um, if you notice, this is what we had initially. Um, when we were defining the has many and the belongs to properties for the product and reviews respectively, um, we should have added the async true feature there, okay? So after adding that, when I went back to our homepage, I refreshed. And now when I click on Xbox 360, we should see its um, reviews underneath it. So this is the title and the description and price. Underneath it, we have the reviews. I like the Xbox and it's rating four. Likewise here for the PS3 as well. Um, underneath it, we have the reviews um, as you can see. So I'll just put a simple HR there just to um, separate them. So back in our template here, I'll um, put an HR. And let's see what that does okay so that just adds a line here and I'll just also put a text there that just says review uh, let's just make it a h3 say product reviews okay so that's it so that's it guys for this um, video um, in the next video, we'll have a look at how to list products on the front end of our system. Um, this is the back end of our system where we can add um, products and delete and edit. But on the front end, we'll just be able to see the products and um, you will see why we're doing that because we don't need the front end users to be able to modify our back end system. Okay. So thanks for watching. I will see you in another video. Cheers. Bye bye.